Emily the Goat by Jane Pilgrim Emily was a very nice goat. She had a light brown shaggy coat, two little horns and a neat little beard. She was born at Blackberry Farm in a bad snowstorm. Mr and Mrs Smiles and their children Joy and Bob were very excited. But Emily's mother couldn't feed her, so Mrs. Smiles gave her a bottle. Soon Joy learnt to feed her too, and sometimes Bob fed her. When Emily was two years old, she had a baby of her own, a little billy goat, which Joy and Bob loved. But there was not enough food at Blackberry Farm for two goats, so Billy went to live with some friends down the road. Emily was a very good goat and she gave Mrs. Smiles as much milk as she could, two jugfuls in the morning and two jugfuls at night. Sometimes Naughty George, the Blackberry Farm kitten, would be there at milking time, hoping for a little extra milk, and Emily would give him a drop. And when Mrs. Nibble's baby bunnies were all in bed with measles, Emily would find a little extra for her too. So everyone at Blackberry Farm was very fond of Emily because she was such a kind, helpful goat. Then one day, Mr Smiles was very worried and scratched his head and racked his brains and wondered what to do. He told his trouble to Mrs Smiles as she was milking Emily. There's a little lamb in the field and her mother has no milk for her. I'm afraid she will die. We must feed her with a bottle, Mrs. Smiles said. Bring her up to me. So Mr. Smiles went down to the field. Little Martha, the lamb, was crying sadly because she was so hungry, and Mr. Smiles picked her up and brought her straight to Mrs. Smiles. I don't know where we're going to find any more milk, Mrs. Smiles said, unless Emily can help us. Emily looked at little Martha in Mrs. Smiles's arms, and she thought hard. Then she turned to Mrs. Smiles and said, I'll try very hard, Mrs. Smiles, but I must have more to eat. So everyone at Blackberry Farm went looking for more food for Emily. Mrs. Nibble and Walter Duck brought some fresh green leaves. Mother Hen and Lucy Mouse found her some extra corn and maize. And Mrs. Squirrel gave her some nuts. Then, in the evening, after Mrs. Smiles had milked Emily, there were three jugfuls of milk. Mrs. Smiles was very pleased with Emily. You are a dear good goat, she said. Now we are able to give little Martha her bottle. So every day, Mrs. Nibble and Mother Hen and Walter Duck and Lucy Mouse and Mrs. Squirrel all brought a little something for Emily. And every day, Emily gave Mrs. Smiles a little extra milk. And Mr. and Mrs. Smiles, and Joy, and Bob, all told her what a dear, good goat she was. And Emily was very happy at Blackberry Farm. Mm -hmm.